Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the shop once again. Uh, we're out on the road right now, test driving a 2018 uh, F-150 with a 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine in it. And while I'm on this test drive verifying this customer's complaint, I want to address one thing I get a lot of questions about on the 10R80 transmissions. And that is the transmission, depending on different conditions, it doesn't seem to go through all the gears. Um, you know, it kind of like skips shifts gears and stuff like that. And I'm here to show you and tell you that is perfectly normal. It's built into uh, the, the strategy with the transmission. So the way Ford thinks about it is, hey, we have 10 gears to go through getting up to, let's say 55 miles an hour. And that's a lot of shifts to go through. And in order to improve the customer's experience, what they did is they started, uh, you know, deleting different shifts in there and kind of skipping them since the ratio is so close already uh, because it's a 10 speed transmission there. So depending on the conditions, they can just skip the gears and you'll go into the next gear and there'll be, be no drivability or MVH concerns or nothing like that. No lugging of the, the engine, nothing like that. And it all has to do with your calibration and also the engine you're using. Obviously, you know, a 3.3 liter or a 3.7 liter naturally aspirated engine is going to be much less powerful than a, any kind of EcoBoost engine. So your calibration is going to be different. Now for the EcoBoost engines, and I'm sure it's the same for the uh, diesel engine uh, that's in these vehicles, they're high torque. So they can just power through and skip shifts and go to the higher gears, no problem. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go out in the country so we're nice, nice and safe here. I'm gonna flip you around to the display on there um, so you can see what gears we're actually skipping on there. On this particular vehicle, which you'll find on most 10R80 transmissions, um, they skip second and fourth under light acceleration. Now, generally on another you know, vehicle and transmission, people in the past have you know, liken this to, you know, losing a gear, skipping it, flaring, and then getting through the gear. And once you go fast enough, you get to the next gear and it'll continue from there. That's why people are kind of freaking out about it. Uh, Ford did this a while ago on some of their five speeds, uh, like the 5R55S and the 5R110, I believe. Uh, they shifted differently and skipped gears depending on if it was cold or warm. You know, so this is nothing new, uh, but it's definitely not common on all transmissions. So like I said, in the past with the four speeds and all that stuff, people were like, even the six speed, they're, they're, they're driving along. And if they, if they went past the gear, um, they would kind of freak out and think, well, it's skipping that gear or it's flaring in the gear until we can get past it with enough speed. And then it finally comes into fourth or third or whatever else. So like I said, on this vehicle, uh, it seems to skip second and fourth. So we're out in the country now. I'll flip you around so you can see exactly what it's doing under light to moderate acceleration in the regular drive mode. Okay, here we go. So you can see we're in drive, regular drive, we're in first gear and we're stopped. And you can also see based on the drive mode that we're in the normal drive mode, which is standard operation of the transmission. Um, and this is basically set for fuel economy. So. It's gonna do whatever it can for best operation of the trans and the best fuel economy. So you see we're under light acceleration, we just skipped second there. And now we're in fourth. We're in fifth. And then six and so on. So it seems the higher gears, it'll roll through those, but getting up to a normal speed in operation, the lower gears, it'll it'll skip some of the lower gears. So let's try it again under real light acceleration, you'll see. So as you just saw there too, that's another thing I wanna address, it'll skip certain gears going down, all right? Again, so you don't feel all the shifts. Light acceleration, we skipped second for sure. Fourth. 
So let's turn the corner up here and we will safely go around the corner here and we'll show you under medium to heavy acceleration, okay? So hopefully you'll be able to see us in the sun now. So again, we're still in manual drive mode. So we skip second again. We skip fourth this time. You see, so diff depending on your, your your acceleration and the driving conditions and how, how warm the transmission is, it'll skip certain gears at different times. And as you may or may not have noticed, and you definitely would notice if you were driving, the shifts are crisp, everything's great, and there's no shift flares or harsh shifts, anything like that. That's another indicator. If you've got smooth shifting and we're skipping gears, it's because it's being commanded, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, if you had a slippage at any gear, it would set a code because again, yeah, it doesn't want to ruin the transmission, but everything relates back to emissions. So here we are in a really isolated road. And the way you can test to make sure your transmission is shifting through all the gears just fine, okay, is you can actually hit your drive mode button and put it in the sport mode right there okay so in sport mode pretty much from what i've seen light acceleration hard acceleration it's going to go through every gear and this will show you that the transmission is able to command each gear and row through them and it'll kind of confirm and you know kind of calm any kind of fears because as we all know the 10 or 80 has enough problems with, with vibrations and buzzing noises and some hard shift issues, main control, body wear issues, uh, has some bushing wear issues where the bushing drops. So you can just sit here under, you know, reg this is regular acceleration, light to moderate. And we're going through every gear on here. So you'll be able to tell that we're able to command and you also be able to feel each one of those shifts to make sure that it's happening properly. You know, there's no shift flares, no harsh engagement, stuff like that. Now, of course, at the higher, you know, it's in sport mode, of course, at this point, we're at 50 miles an hour and it's still holding on to sixth gear. That's because it's in sport mode. That That's perfectly normal too. But like I said, the, the gears that are gonna be skipped in the other modes, um, it's gonna be the lower gears. So you can see again, we're going through all the gears going down. You see this? There you go. So let's go around the corner here. This is moderate acceleration. I know it's a little hard to see the sun. We'll be turning here in a second. Again, <laughs> we're at 50 some and we're still holding on to seventh gear at 2,000 RPMs because we're in sport mode. There we go, we're going through. Down, down, down. So I just wanted to address this because, you know, these new fancy dancy, you know, uh, fancy uh, pants, uh, you know, transmissions, there's a lot to learn about them, what's normal and what's not. Look at that, it's going through all the gears just fine. It's a good confirmation that's able to command the gears and that those, those shifts are crisp and, and, and good to go. Okay, so that's about it. I just wanted to address this because, like I said, there's a lot of mis misinformation out there about these newer transmissions, a lot of questions, uh, and I wanted to addri address this one, this question, directly by showing you examples and how you can confirm if your transmission is shifting properly or not uh, by selecting that sport mode if your vehicle has it. Otherwise, if you don't have sport mode and your shifts are just fine, but you're skipping gears, again, perfectly normal. It's built into the, the strategy of the PCM software that controls the transmission. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.